Hi friends, it's Annika. Welcome back to another video. It's currently nighttime and it's storming so badly outside, but I had a fun idea for today's video. Well, fun for, for you guys to watch. I filmed this last year and basically it is waking up at 5 a.m. to see if I'm more productive, see how much I can get done. I actually think I filmed it almost to the same date last year and I just was thinking about what video to film this week and thought this would be a fun one. I woke up at 5.30 the other day and I was so productive, I got so much done. So I kind of want to wake up at five tomorrow. You get to be productive with me. You're going to get to see some of my morning routine, what I do when I wake up that early, which I do not often. And this is going to be a bit of an experiment. Let's see how much coffee I drink. Let's see how much I get done before I crash. I have some evening activities tomorrow too. So cross our fingers that it goes well. So it's currently 1030. I need to get to sleep. I'm setting my alarms right now. You guys already know I'm this type of girl. I have like 10 alarms set because it's just not gonna happen any other way. So I just wanted to intro this video tonight because in the morning I'm gonna be way too tired to speak and I will see you all in the morning at 5 a.m. Just given some time for me to wake up slowly, but I'm so tired, so I made myself a tea. Oh. So I've just made myself a tea. Hopefully this wakes me up a little bit. Storming outside. Kind of a weird night. I had some nightmares. I think it was because of the thunder. I hate thunder. I'm gonna spend like a while just reading scripture, praying, just kind of giving God my first portion of my day. The world's not really awake yet, I'm not super awake, and it just feels very peaceful. Last week I got up at this time. <sighs> to plan my day now i desperately desperately need a coffee my eyes are burning <laughs> but i'm gonna plan my day we're gonna do i'll have my planner linked down below and i think it'll be good to do this before i like get up and out of bed we got a full day let's go get started two rules for myself in the morning. One, get up and either read the Bible or pray. And two, drink my probiotic before I have my coffee. And then my coffee can be a reward after because I find that it just helps my skin better when I do that. As much as I do appreciate AG1, I will say, I don't think anyone enjoys taking their vitamins and I certainly don't. You know, I wouldn't say I necessarily look forward to this part, but the coffee that I get to drink after really gets me through. Also, I found that with a straw, it's better. 
Okay, I've also just made myself like the most simple iced coffee in my mug because I'm struggling to stay awake. Okay, I'm gonna chug this. I'll see you at the gym. Okay guys, here is breakfast. Being very much a creature of habit, I'm sorry I'm making the same thing, but I promised I haven't eaten this in a few days. We just have the avocado toast with eggs and then I put arugula on the side because I forgot to put on the toast. Um, I'm just gonna sit here and eat this without getting on my phone. I'm trying to not fill my like free time with media usage. So it's been kind of nice to just like eat breakfast and ponder. Yesterday during my cleaning sesh on Sunday because today's Monday by the way I don't know if I've said that but I cleaned all my brushes So I'm just like putting them back into their cup, but they so desperately Needed a good wash and now they're all fresh and clean Nice dark in here it's because it's so gloomy outside also i have my protein shake here it's the only what you need vegan protein shake and i'm gonna start with like some really boring type of work i'm getting business finances all in order especially for 2024 and like tax documents are coming out they're getting sent over to me by brands not fun not fun i did not have this stuff organized last year especially because the youtube channel is much smaller and now there's so much more to have in order so i need to send over some documents to some people and then we can get into some of like the content stuff that i have for today i have two reels filmed one is edited one needs to be edited on my phone and then there's so much other stuff also look at how adorable this bracelet is i have it on backwards but in case you're wondering renee got it for me for christmas and it came in the other day it's my dog Pebbles. It's literally a picture of her engraved on a bracelet. The way I check my camera is like the funniest thing ever. I swear I'm like... I'm going to put on a podcast while I edit. Um, I use Splice to edit my reels. The first one I'm editing is a, it's the prayer board reel from last week's video. 
Um, that's gonna go on Besties Bible Club. And then I have like an evening, spend the evening with me for my Instagram. That's good. Cross out that I've edited that. Reel number two, this is gonna take me, if I can predict, probably like 25, maybe 30 minutes, hopefully not that long, but you never know. I don't know the last time I updated. It must have been like 45 minutes ago. I'm still not done with the reel. I had like 45 minutes of footage and editing, the, editing that down into one minute is truly testing for the soul. I've literally just been sitting here. My back is starting to hurt actually from the position I was in. So I'm gonna get up, take a break because it's one o'clock and I'm going to walk Lola. Heat up some soup for lunch. I have some tomato soup. Gonna eat it with like a homemade Caesar salad type of situation. Okay, let's go walk Lola. It's really about to be one of those meals where you just look in your fridge and you're kind of like, what do I have? What can I throw in a bowl? So I'm gonna make a salad of just like literally stuff that I found in my fridge. I'm just gonna make a lot and whatever I don't eat, I can eat later. Some arugula. I found mushrooms, I'm gonna sprinkle these on. Honestly, sometimes these end up being the best lunches when you just, you're like, what can I make? What can I find? Okay, just gonna chop up some cucumber. Last year, I used to always cook lunch at home in the middle of my work day, and I feel like I would always like take you guys through it. It's been a minute. Comment if you've been here since 2022. I feel like croutons really spice the salad up. The only dressing I found that I'm okay with eating right now is this avocado lime ranch Chick-fil-A one. Yay. Tomato soup being heated up over here. Okay, here is lunch. We got some tomato soup, a massive salad that I'm probably not gonna finish, but I can save it for later. Uh, my Zevia. I love the ginger ale ones. In a cute little glass, just makes it feel more fun. This is the lunch spread. You all know what time it is. We're back at the coffee station. I feel like I'm always making coffee, but like. Why does it sound like that? The one I drank this morning was just like, it was like a pre-workout, you know? And this one's like a pre-work. Got my espresso all loaded. But anyways, I just wanted to update you on how I was feeling. So it is about 2.30. I'm feeling pretty normal. Like I always get tired at this time. I'm a little bit more tired than I usually am um, by this time in the afternoon. But there's always like, there's always like a 2 p.m. crash for me. So I'm really just gonna sit down, do more work finish more things and then at five i'm gonna go run errands i don't know i didn't start work at like such an earlier time but my morning i was able to spread it out so much nicer so much time in scripture this morning that it just like i don't know it just felt like the nicest ease into the day and i feel like i've already had like a 12 hour day so it's it's definitely it's definitely helping At the end of the day i'll give you my full thought Clumsiness has increased. It has definitely increased. I've spilled like seven things today. I don't know if it's because I'm half asleep. I cannot 
keep things in order to save my life. The cute little Zevia drink I made myself for lunch. Yeah, that went out the window. I put it down on the table and it just like exploded. I got my Bibles wet. I panicked. I was blow drying my Bibles. Like it really was a whole thing. And right now I got the almond milk and I just like spilled it all over the floor. Like I don't really know what's going on. Me and a latte, that's the way to my heart. Lo-fi is going. I know I put it in the back of all my videos, but it's also just in the background of my life. Next thing I'm going to do is work on a flyer on Canva for Besties Bible Club. Basically just a mock-up for this Saturday's potential Bible study meeting. This is one of the two flyers that I came up with and I think I like this one the best. That's what it looks like. Isn't that so cute? I just like made a template my own. Um, like I said, we're gonna be doing Mark. I put a little description of what it is. This was option two. I don't really like this one though, no. Looking at both, I really like this one. I feel like it just fits the vibe of the of the account more, of create Bible study flyer. I'm going to write some notes because I'm shipping off Bibles today and tomorrow to the giveaway winners. I don't know, something cute, a thank you. guys it's five o'clock finally getting out of the house for some errands and i'm doing an outfit change of shoes because i just figured that i could get some content while i'm out and i found a little spot to do it in these tony bianco boots i got them last year and they're one of my faves We got it. See, that was so easy. Honestly, record time, two minutes. Before I eat dinner, I'm gonna give you a quick haul of the things that we got. So, first went to Sephora. I went for a return, and then I literally forgot the return here at the apartment, but I did have a gift card from Christmas, so I just decided to go for it and use it. I got two things. First, I got this Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. Literally the foundation I always, always use. I decided to get a different shade because the one I have right now is from summer, this looks really light, but I'm also really light. So so I just got a like winter shade of it um, since I'm not tan and I'm not really self tanning. It's like rare that I do it during the winter. And then I also got a highlighter because I really needed a highlighter. I have not bought one in years and I know the one I'm using is expired. They had these Charlotte Tilbury ones on display and I got this one in Pillow Talk Glow really rosy sheen on the face and I just like it and then I got a few things at Target that was the second errand I got some more collagen pimple patches I got some little espresso cups I really hope I really hope that this fits in my machine so let me check really quick it fits yay next things I got are literally on the same note I got some just white mugs I don't even know if you can tell but it's like it's like matte 
I think it's ceramic, it must be. And it matches like the bowl and plate sets I have from Jenny Kane, so I just got two of these. They were $4. I really like the way they look. Story of our lives is that we actually went into Target for one thing and we came out with all of this. So this is the one thing I actually went in there for. It's a frame. I showed you guys in my last video that I got some really pretty prints from Etsy and one of them still needed a frame, so I picked this up for that. Wow, guys, okay. The crash has hit. It's it's here, it's time. It's, I was about to go to bed and literally just knock out and then I was like, wait, I'm literally vlogging. <laughs> Not me forgetting what day it is and what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. It's 9.30. I'm gonna do a quick Bible study of Luke. I'm still in Luke, almost done with it. We are on Luke chapter 19. So the crowd was listening to everything Jesus said and because... He's talking about our inheritance and like what he's left us. Those who use like the gifts that he's given us. Like I think, yes, like virtues and gifts. Virtues, gifts. Influence. Like in the King's story, God has given you gifts to use for benefit of his kingdom. Do you want his kingdom to grow? Do you trust him to govern it fairly? Are you as concerned for others' welfare as you are for your own? Are you willing to use faithfully what God has entrusted to you? That is it for this video. I am so tired. Um, it is absolutely time I go to sleep. It's 11, so. We're not getting up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me for this 5 a.m. day and testing out if I'm more productive waking up at 5 a.m. Honestly, based on today, yes, I got so much done. I think it also just was putting me in a headspace of like, I got up this early, I am going to get my to-do list done. I'm overall so happy with it. It was a really good day. I think it was more productive. I did feel so significantly tired in the morning but i also know that that is because i'm not my body's just not used to it and it's really not that bad if i go to sleep at the right time i'm truly a night owl and it's really really hard for me and i hate the mornings but i do enjoy a full day a full set of hours of my day to just do what i need to do i'm telling you i'm saying this on camera we are gonna test 5 a.m. for a week in february that is pretty much it for me thank you all so much for hanging out with me i loved recreating this video that i did last year if you want to stay connected with me you can go follow me on instagram obviously subscribe um or if you want to be involved in besties bible club we're having our first meeting very very soon and i would love to have you there that information will be in the description as well so see you all very soon in my next video i love you guys bye friends